Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This video will demonstrate how you can now display an advanced view of the machine axis positions when you simulate NC machine code. These axis values make it easier for you to debug NC code and set up simulation kits. You can also manage breakpoints using the execution view or the program manager. First, We'll take a look at the advanced view of the machine axis positions in the machine axis positions dialog box. In the program order view of the operation navigator, select roughing. Click simulate machine. Select machine code simulate from the visualization list. Click show machine axis positions. Select the advanced tab. The table in the Machine Axis Positions dialog box is new. Click Play. The Machine Axis Position values change as the simulation plays. Click Stop. You can display, hide, and reorder the columns. Right-click at the top of one of the columns and select Columns. Checking and unchecking the items in the list displays and hides columns in the table. Select Properties or Configure. The Machine Axis Positions Properties dialog box allows you to show and hide columns, reorder columns, and reset columns back to the default. Click Cancel in the Machine Axis Positions Properties dialog box. Click Close in the Machine Axis Positions dialog box. You can now manage breakpoints and view code using the Execution View or the Program Manager. Click Show Execution View. Use the Execution View dialog box to monitor the executing code for a single channel while you simulate NC machine code. To monitor multiple channels at the same time, you can display additional instances of the dialog box. This dialog box replaces the NC program group of the simulation control panel. The NC program area displays the code. You can monitor the code, post-process N lines of code, and save the currently post-processed NC code. A green arrow indicates the line of code currently being executed. A green arrow with a red dot indicates the line of code where the execution is stopped at an active breakpoint or that it is still executing because you clicked play. A green arrow with a red circle indicates the line of code currently being executed at an inactive breakpoint. Call stack lists the program or channel and subprograms ending with the program that NX is currently executing. Variables displays the NC, any controller, or CSE variables that you add to the list. NX assigns colors by program. Click Play. In the NC program area, you can observe the code as it is executed. Click Stop. You can insert breakpoints in the main program or subprograms. In Step Mode and Play Mode, the simulation stops when it reaches a breakpoint. Breakpoints may contain conditions. If the condition is fulfilled, the breakpoint stops the simulation. You can activate, deactivate, or delete a breakpoint. NX stores breakpoints with the CAM setup file and restores them when you reopen the file. NX issues a warning if it cannot load the file that contains a breakpoint. Icons indicate the status of breakpoints. A red dot indicates active. The simulation stops when NX reaches the line. A red circle indicates inactive. The simulation does not stop, but the position is retained. A red circle with a warning indicates invalid. This typically means that the code in which the breakpoint is located has not been post-processed in the current session. Click 
next to any line in the NC program area below the line of code currently being executed to add a breakpoint. Click Play. The execution stops at the breakpoint. Click next to any line in the NC program area below the line of code currently being executed to add another breakpoint. Right click on the breakpoint and select Deactivate Breakpoint. The inactive breakpoint retains the position but does not stop the simulation when you play. Click Play. The execution does not stop at the deactivated breakpoint. Click Stop. Close the Execution View dialog box. Use the Program Manager dialog box to view any code that is currently located in the CAM setup. Click Show Program Manager. The Programs area displays a tree structure representation of all programs and subprograms. When you double click a program node, NX displays the program code. When you double click a non program node, NX displays the structure of the node, including paths to external files. Double click G73 to see the subprogram code. Double click Machine to see the subprogram structure and file locations. The List of Breakpoints area lists all breakpoints in the current NC setup and allows you to manage them using MB3, the same as you did in the execution view. You can also define matching breakpoints. These are independent of NC lines and stop the simulation whenever they find the string defined in the Condition Match column. Click Add Matching Breakpoint. Type M6 in the Condition Match column. Click Show Execution View. Click Play. The simulation stops as soon as it finds the string M6 in the code and marks it accordingly. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now display an advanced view of the machine axis positions and manage breakpoints when you simulate NC machine code. Thank you.